nearly afternoon. <laughs> what a morning I've had. I'm actually parked at Darling Howe and I'm going to do Winlet Fell. Um, one of my subscribers um, is coming to stay here um, pretty soon and it was commenting that they we're going to do maybe Winlet Fell on its own and because it's quite late in the day um, I'm going to do Winlet Fell from Darling Howe. Um, just so I've got a route. Um, I'm going to go straight up Winlet Fell and probably just go straight back down through Darling Howe because I haven't really got the time to go to Lord's Seat and Broome. So uh, if you're watching this, um, you know who you are. If you're watching this, um, you don't have to do this route, but I'm going to do it. Just because I love Winlet Fell anyway, and I love doing it from Darling Howe. It's my favourite way of doing it. You don't have to pay for parking. You can park for free. Um, otherwise, you've got to pay pay at the uh, Winlet Visitor Centre, which is expensive. So, this is the way that I'm going to do it. So when you come to the first left junction, that's the way you can go down and um, up onto Greystones, Brimfell and Lord Seat, round that way through the forest. Now I have done a video on Brimfell and Lord Seat and I have actually done that route so you can always check that out. But we're going to carry straight on to head up Winletter Fell. got lovely fireweed on the side of the track here and the leaves make Ivan chai tea if you ferment them and crush them they make a lovely sweet tea and you can also use the petals and make a nice syrup so the path initially follows Aiken back to the right hand side of it it's a really good forest track. Starting to get views of Brim Fell on the left there and Lord Seat straight ahead. Okay so you come to a bit of a crossroads you want to just carry straight on to get to Windmetter Fell. Just hang you round. Go straight up the path. We're aiming eventually for a metal tank on the right hand side under the, some trees. So I don't know if you can see this, but you may really need to keep your eye out for this metal tank under these trees because this is where you're going to head up there's a little break between a wall and some spruce trees it's a lovely path uh, it goes up quite steeply but this is the point that you need to look out for or we'll put the coordinates of where this is of the woods and look behind you've got this fantastic view look Billy <laughs> king of the castle 
not supposed to stand on the wall, Billy. <laughs> so you need to get to the right hand side of the wall as that fence is blocked your path. So there's plenty of breaks in the wall. You head over to the other side and about 50 yards up at the top of, the, of that hill there, there's a dog style which um, gets you through the wall and the fence and up onto the fell side. got a break in the wall come buddy and there's your style to get you on to win that fell So you can continue from Winnetta Fell when we're on the top, we're not on the top at the moment, but this is a good viewpoint for me to show you most of the route. Once you've done Winnetta Fell, you would head along the ridge to Tarbarra Moss into Winnetta Forest. So you'd be heading along here on the track through the forest. You can get onto Lord's Seat, continue down the ridge to Brim Fell, over Widow Hawes, you can go to Greystones, if you so wish. You can go down really steeply, but it's very, very steep, back to Darling Howe. So I would always go back to this coal here and there's an easy path through the cut down plantation, back along the track over Aikenbeck, where I showed you at the start of the video, back to Darling Howe. through this lovely heather and bilberries. There's masses of bilberries to pick at the moment as well. It's fantastic. It's the best way up when I have in my opinion. You've got this fantastic view over to Lawton. There's Greystone. Topping out on Brown Howe Summit. This is what Wainwright classed as the summit of Winnetta Fell, but it's not actually. It's a little bit lower than the, way the Winnetta Fell summit further along the ridge. But in his day, he thought this was the highest point. But it's such a good viewpoint. Good shelter if it's windy. Not quite sure what Billy's eating from there. Look at the view over Hobcarton Forest, Ladyside Pike, which we were going to do this morning, but the road is closed. Over to Hope Gill Head, Grisdale Pike, a fantastic ridge from Grisdale Pike. So hop cut an end and hope go head, white side, 
That is such a good route. So we're leaving Brown House Summit and to get to Winnetka Fell Summit you head along this ridge to the far side and that is the actual true summit. You've got views either side when you head along the ridge. To the left you've got Lord's Seat and Skidder in the distance. To the right you've got Gwaisdale Pike and hope you go ahead. And it meanders again through lots of heather. You've got bogs that Billy always seems to find. <laughs> that doesn't look very clean Billy. Oh you can see the mud swirling around him. Oh god. Oh dear. So yeah, watch out for the uh, odd boggy puddle. <laughs> Look at the state of that. Luckily we've got Aiken Beck that he can get into and wash him off. So it's lovely, you've got lots of heather and bilberries. Heading down from Winnetka Fell Summit, and you head, continue on the path over to the next little hump. With fantastic views, Hi, look at that! So that's Hobcarton End and Quaisdale Pike behind. Right, left side pike, and right side. Okay, so you can clearly see Tar Barrel Moss now. So we're heading along this ridge, heading to the edge of that forest. That's Tar Barrel Moss. You head along right by the trees, right into the corner where there's a gate to get you into the forest. Keswick and Helvellyn and the Dodds. Okay, so we've reached Winnetta Forest edge now. Now, if you're coming from the Winnetta Visitor Centre, you would come up from the forest, you'd head up out of the forest down there. You have to come up steeply up this hill, get to this point, and you head along the ridge to Winnetka Fell Summit. So that's probably the quickest way to do it, but it's not as nice. It really isn't as nice as coming from the way I've done. But you haven't got a lot of time, 
that is an option. Still got cracking views. Clydesdale Pike. That's the summit up there. So we are now going to head to Tabo and Moss. We're heading along this forest line. So this is the summit of Tarbawa Moss. Impressed? Yeah. Literally just this. And this is the gate to access into the forest. And you do have to be careful if you've got a dog. There's a cycle track that cuts across. I'll just show you. That's the cycle track. So you could come whizzing along on. You have to cross the cycle track and head down there. Okay, so when you come out of the forest, you want to go straight down into Darling Howe, which we're going to do today. You head left, that takes you right back down to Darling Howe, where you park the car. There's a junction, so if you go straight on, that takes you round to Lord Seat eventually. If you go right, that's where the Winata Visitor Centre is. Seat. You can check out the video that I've done of Winletter Fell um, earlier in the year and it'll show you the way through the wood and what it's like. I didn't actually summit Lord's Seat but it's literally 50 yards from where I was because it was really busy and I'll show you the route down from Lord's Seat by aching back, back to Darling Howe. So you can watch that video and get an idea of what that's like. So today, as I said, I'm not doing Lord's Seat. I've come out of the wood from Tarbo or Moss, I'm heading straight back down through Darling Howell Forest on a really good track back to the car. That's Winletta Fell if you can see there. That's the uh, forest that we went up onto the ridge line. So we have lots and lots of burdock along this path. The bees and butterflies absolutely love it. And who's your bees? But they're a nightmare for doggies, these seed heads. They're so prickly and sticky. You get them in the fur. They tangle up so bad. But this is what you would make dandelion and burdock drink from. You dig up the root make it with that but obviously you're not allowed to dig up 
wild plants. down to Aikenbeck in a little bit of a detour so we can sit here but you can have a paddle we can clean them up and have some lunch okay so that track up there at Aikenbeck now that track up there is where you would come back if you descended from Lord's Seat on that path that I told you about at the beginning down the ridge through the wall along the wall through a dark wood uh, you would cross the wall at a break um, through some forest that's been cut down a little bit and that's the path we would come back on and if you watch my Broomfell and Lord's Sleep video that's the path of, that I use so we're now going to sit at Aikenbeck but he's in there already it's actually a sheep fold just behind that willow there there's the sheepfold. Okay, it's quite nice by this bit. Absolutely swarming with clegs. The GoPro has got about 30 clegs all over it right now. Ah! And they bite! Yeah, I'm not going to be staying here long. Nightmare. <sighs> Don't know if you can see them. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Five mile walk doing one as I fell as I said Kulavut. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all soon. Bye. So welcome to Map Time and this is a route for Winletter Fell only. It's a five mile circular loop and I like to park at Darling House because it's free. You don't have to pay. You access it from Winletter Pass. Um, Lawton is down here so it's just out of Lawton about a quarter of the way up the winner to pass and you take a turning signpost to Darling How and you can park here for about 10 cars or you can park further up for about 7 cars right by the forest gate as long as you don't block it and you're a bit further up the path then and you head straight up on a well visible forest track heading on the right hand side of Aikenbeck and you are aiming for, you get up at you go straight across some crossroads and you are looking out for a metal tank under a spruce tree and there's a break in between the wall here, there's a wall and these trees, there's a break and you head steeply up on a very narrow path, tops you out onto the bottom of Brown Howe and there is actually a dog gate and stall here so you can easily cross the wall here to get to the right hand side to 
follow the little path in between cut down trees and the and the wall and fence get to the gate and start and go over this and head up on a path through heather and bilberries on a really lovely meandering path up to brown how this isn't the summit of Bonetta top it's slightly lower but you have fantastic views over Grisdale Pike and Hobcarton Forest and the Winletta Pass. And you just follow through Heather and Bilberries on this undulating ridge over to the top. This is the true summit, 525 metres. To do a circular loop, you head to the edge of the Winletta Forest and you follow along down here over squidgy, boggy ground to Tarbell Moss. And there's a gate here in the corner of the fence, which gives you access to this junction here. Now, when it's a visitor centre would be down this side. Lord's Seat, you would go up here. If you were just wondering when it's a fell, you head left, following a forest track or forest road, all the way round here, down this path back to this point at Aiken Beck and you've got a path follows along here like that this is where the tank is sorry it's on a join so it's really hard to see I do apologize this is where the tank is and it's pretty obvious you just keep on the main path all the way back to Darling Howe and there's about a five mile walk and it's a really lovely circular route. The best way I think of doing Winletta Fell.